the Enigma Code. Chapter 1. The Cryptic Code Dr. Adrian Turner, a dedicated mathematician with a passion for unraveling historical mysteries, found himself engrossed in an old, dusty manuscript tucked away in the corner of his private study. The pages, yellowed with time, bore the weight of an untold story. As he meticulously translated the cryptic symbols that adorned the parchment, a revelation began to take shape, a code, carefully crafted and left behind by the Nazis. The discovery sent a shiver down Adrian's spine. His eyes widened with a mix of excitement and trepidation as he realized the implications of what he had stumbled upon. The code hinted at a dark conspiracy, one intricately tied to the notorious Enigma machine, a device that had played a pivotal role during World War II. With a racing heart, Adrian made the decision to embark on a journey that would lead him into the heart of a historical puzzle. Setting foot on European soil, Adrian's quest began. From the quaint libraries of London to the hidden chambers beneath the streets of Berlin, he saw clues that would illuminate the shadows of the past. The narrative unfolded rapidly, the urgency of his mission propelling him forward without the luxury of pausing to analyze his own thoughts and emotions. Adrian's journey took him through winding alleyways, where echoes of wartime secrets whispered in the breeze. In dimly lit archives, he pieced together fragments of history, revealing the machinations of a bygone era. The atmosphere was thick with the weight of untold stories, and every document he unearthed seemed to be a bridge to a clandestine world. As he traversed the European landscape, Adrian encountered enigmatic figures, historians with hidden agendas, elusive informants, and suspicious characters lingering in the shadows. The sense of danger heightened with each step, yet his determination burned brighter. The intricate dance between discovery and danger became the rhythm of his journey. Adrian's quest led him to ancient castles perched atop misty hills and abandoned bunkers concealed beneath layers of soil. Each location held a piece of the puzzle, a key to unlocking the secrets encrypted in the code. The atmosphere crackled with an energy that transcended time, and Adrian found himself entangled in a complex web of historical intrigue. The pace of events quickened as he encountered double agents with failed intentions. A sense of paranoia crept into his every interaction, making trust a rare commodity. The boundaries between friend and foe blurred, forcing Adrian to rely on his instincts as he delved deeper into the conspiratorial labyrinth. In the dim glow of flickering candles, Adrian deciphered encoded messages that pointed to the Enigma machine's enduring legacy. The mechanical hum of the device resonated in the hidden chambers, echoing the secrets it had once held. The enigma within the enigma teased Adrian, pushing him to the limits of his intellectual prowess. As he closed in on the culmination of his journey, Adrian found himself standing on the precipice of a revelation. The conspirators, aware of his pursuit, emerged from the shadows. A clandestine meeting unfolded in an abandoned warehouse, with faces obscured by darkness and voices wrapped in mystery. The climax approached with the intensity of a storm. Adrian's pursuit of truth collided with the orchestrators of the conspiracy, and a dance of shadows ensued. In the pulsating rhythm of the final confrontation, he fought not only to expose the secrets of the past, but also to survive the present. Chapter 2 Unveiling Shadows Adrian's journey through the labyrinth of historical mysteries intensified, each step taking him further into the heart of the enigma. 
The pages of his travelogue were filled with entries documenting hidden locations and clandestine encounters across Europe. In the bustling streets of Paris, he found himself tracing the steps of a long-lost historian whose writings held cryptic clues. The City of Lights unveiled its secrets as Adrian explored dimly lit alleyways and ancient bookstores, encountering a web of connections that hinted at a shadowy underworld. With each revelation, the suspense thickened and the sense of being watched became palpable. A train ride through the scenic landscapes of Switzerland became a journey through time as Adrian unraveled the threads of history. The majestic Alps loomed on the horizon, concealing hidden bunkers that echoed with the whispers of wartime secrets. The landscape itself seemed to guard the remnants of an era long past, and the tension in the air heightened as he ventured deeper into the mountainous terrain. In the historic city of Prague, with its cobblestone streets and gothic architecture, Adrian discovered a network of tunnels beneath the surface. These subterranean passages, long forgotten by the modern world, held the echoes of clandestine meetings and covert operations. The flickering light of his lantern revealed symbols etched into the stone walls, further fueling his determination to unveil the truth. The enigmatic figures Adrian encountered added layers of complexity to his quest. A mysterious informant in Vienna, an eccentric scholar in Budapest, and a shadowy operative in Warsaw all played roles in the intricate dance of deception. Trust became a precious commodity, and Adrian found himself relying on his instincts to navigate through the fog of uncertainty. As he pursued the threads of the conspiracy, Adrian unwittingly stepped into the crosshairs of rival factions. Double agents lurked in the background, watching his every move. The tension escalated, and the line between ally and adversary blurred. The pulse of suspense quickened, mirroring the hastening pace of his journey. The trail led Adrian to the ancient ruins of an abbey in rural Germany. Among the crumbling stones, he uncovered a hidden chamber where a clandestine society had once convened. The air was thick with the residue of secrets, and Adrian felt the weight of the past pressing down on him. The society's emblem, etched onto a forgotten manuscript, linked them to the enigma in ways he had not anticipated. In the grand libraries of Oxford, Adrian delved into dusty tomes that held the keys to unlocking the final pieces of the puzzle. The musty scent of aged parchment surrounded him as he deciphered passages that spoke of a secret code embedded in the Enigma machine and encryption within an encryption. The revelation sent shockwaves through his scholarly core as he grasped the complexity of the historical enigma he sought to unravel. As chapter drew to a close, Adrian stood on the precipice of a revelation. The shadows that had veiled the truth began to disperse, revealing glimpses of a conspiracy that reached far beyond the confines of wartime Europe. The dance of shadows intensified, setting the stage for the next act in this riveting tale of historical intrigue and suspense. Chapter 3 the Enigma's Legacy Adrian's journey through the annals of history and intrigue had brought him to the precipice of a revelation. With the cryptic code leading him deeper into the shadows, he found himself in the heart of Europe, surrounded by ancient castles, abandoned bunkers, and the lingering echoes of wartime secrets. In the sprawling countryside of southern France, Adrian discovered a crumbling chateau, its once majestic façade now a testament to the passage of time. Hidden within its walls were archives containing documents that spoke of a secret society's involvement with the Enigma machine. The society's influence extended far beyond wartime strategies, hinting at a legacy that transcended borders and eras. 
Guided by the clues scattered through the pages of history, Adrian's journey took him to the remote corners of Bavaria. In the shadow of the Alps, he stumbled upon a hidden laboratory where the Enigma machine's design had been refined and perfected. The cold metallic hum of the machines resonated through the air, transporting him back to an era when secrets were encrypted in the gears and cogs of technological marvels. The pursuit of the Enigma's legacy propelled Adrian to the mysterious Black Forest. Amongst towering trees and dense foliage, he uncovered a forgotten research facility where scientists had once toiled in secrecy. The air crackled with the energy of experimentation, and Adrian pieced together the puzzle fragments that revealed a hidden truth the Enigma machine had been part of a larger, more intricate plan. As the plot thickened, Adrian encountered enigmatic figures who held the keys to unlocking the final secrets. An elderly librarian in Prague shared whispered tales of coded messages exchanged by resistance fighters. A cryptic message etched into the stone walls of an ancient monastery in Spain hinted at a connection between the enigma and a fabled treasure. The journey became a tapestry woven with threads of history each strand revealing a new layer of the Enigma's legacy. The climax approached with the unveiling of a hidden chamber beneath the Vatican, where ancient manuscripts guarded a secret that had been passed down through generations. The Enigma, it seemed, was not just a wartime device, but a key to unlocking the gates of knowledge itself. Adrian's mind raced as he deciphered the intricate web of connections that linked the machine to a tapestry of conspiracies spanning centuries. The narrative surged forward with the discovery of a hidden enclave in the Swiss Alps. Here, in the seclusion of towering peaks, Adrian encountered a society that had safeguarded the Enigma's legacy for generations. Their motives were shrouded in secrecy, and Adrian sensed that their influence reached into the highest echelons of power. The adventure gained momentum as Adrian faced challenges that transcended the physical realm. He navigated through treacherous mountain passes, deciphered ancient runes, and decoded cryptic symbols. The pace of events mirrored the urgency of the quest, propelling him towards a climax that promised to unravel the Enigma's legacy in its entirety. Chapter 4 The Dance of Shadows The revelation of the Enigma's legacy had propelled Adrian into the heart of a clandestine dance, where shadows moved with purpose and secrets awaited their final unveiling. The stakes were higher, and the air crackled with an electric tension as the journey hurtled towards its climax. Adrian's pursuit of the truth led him to a clandestine meeting in the dimly lit alleys of Prague. Figures obscured by darkness convened in silence, their faces masked by the dance of shadows. It was here that Adrian confronted the orchestrators of the conspiracy, individuals whose motivations remained shrouded in mystery. The air hung heavy with anticipation as the protagonist and the enigmatic figures faced each other in a silent confrontation. As the dialogue unfolded, Adrian realized the magnitude of the forces at play. The enigma, far from being a mere wartime artifact, held the key to a power that transcended boundaries. The conspirators spoke of a plan to manipulate history, using the encrypted knowledge within the machine to shape the course of nations. Adrian's academic pursuit had transformed into a battle against a shadowy cabal that sought to rewrite the narrative of the world. The setting shifted to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Berlin, where the final act of the Dance of Shadows was to take place. A cold wind swept through the desolate space, carrying with it a sense of foreboding. Adrian, armed with the knowledge he had amassed and a determination fueled by a sense of duty, stood against the hidden architects of the conspiracy. The 
confrontation unfolded in a symphony of suspense. Cryptic messages echoed through the cavernous space, revealing the depth of the conspirators' influence. Adrian's journey had become more than a quest for historical truth, it was a battle against a force that sought to move the power of the Enigma for nefarious ends. A revelation surfaced as the Dance of Shadows approached its climax, connecting the Enigma's legacy to a centuries-old web of covert societies. Adrian discovered himself in the center of a long-standing plot to control history in order to reach a far-off goal. The knowledge shivered down his spine, but it strengthened his determination to foil the plot of those who wanted to change history. The climax erupted in a flurry of action, with Adrian navigating through a maze of coated traps and hidden passages within the warehouse. The dance of shadows intensified, and the protagonists faced a series of challenges that tested not only their intellect, but also their resilience. Ancient symbols, encrypted messages, and concealed mechanisms became the tools through which the final showdown unfolded. The narrative reached its zenith as Adrian confronted the mastermind behind the conspiracy, a figure veiled in darkness until the final moment. The revelation of their identity sent shockwaves through Adrian's core as the individual's connection to the Enigma's legacy became shockingly personal. The Dance of Shadows had revealed its final partner, and the consequences of the revelation echoed through the corridors of history. The resolution of the conflict brought with it a sense of closure, but also an awareness of the enduring nature of historical enigmas. The Dance of Shadows may have reached its finale, but the echoes of the conspiracy lingered, leaving room for the possibility of future revelations and untold secrets waiting to be unraveled. Adrian emerged from the shadows, his journey marked by the scars of a battle fought not only against the forces of the past, but also against the darker facets of human ambition. The Enigma, once a symbol of wartime secrecy, had become a vessel of historical revelation, and Adrian, having danced with shadows, stood on the threshold of a new chapter, an uncertain future where the echoes of the Enigma's legacy continued to resonate. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.